yeah hi friends welcome back to my channel so let's create the load balancer so before creating the load balancer you have to create the target group so you have to create two group so let's create one of the group so you can uh, take as the IP address here and we have to give the uh, target group name like uh, ALB application load balancer hyphen group one and the, we have to define the port number 8080 because that port is uh, the application port uh, on who is the application would be run so let's click on next so here we don't need to define or you don't need to change anything because whenever the uh, the container will be executed so that will be automatic we have to attach with this load balancer so we have created one of the group uh, for the load balancer let's create another load balancer because we required two load balancer here let's uh, click on ip addresses and let's define the name as alb hyphen group 2 and we have to give define the 8080 port number that is the application port number and then we have to click on next we need two application group the load balancer group because whenever we have to perform the deployment whenever the new uh, container would be executed so that would be generally would be uh, goes to the application uh, load balancer group 2 so that's why the that is required so for the new container would be uh, run on the uh, group 2 and the old container would be executed under group 1 so if you see here in the group 1 or group 2 there is uh, in the target uh, it is blank there is no any uh, container is running so let me check again okay so that is uh, not running so before that let me create the load balancer then we can check that so you have to take us the application load balancer here so let me take the name as say application load balancer which is called as alb and here we have to choose the internet facing because we have uh, the whatever the uh, container would be executed that would be on the public ip address so you have to use the internet facing and here and uh, the uh, we have to take the all uh, default VPC and the default subnet and make sure you have to ask, uh, click on the uh, all the subnet so that uh, whatever the container will be executed on uh, uh, any, uh, any subnet so that it can be goes to this subnet and let's attach one of the group because uh, while creating the load balancer we can't attach both the group target group at a time we can't do that okay it seems the load balancer name is already exist so let me keep the name as alp hyphen one or hyphen two we can define that huh? so let me take as alp hyphen new huh? so that it will be created so load balancer is created but this load balancer is attached to one of the group so we have to attach with a different group like the load balancer group 2 okay so you can see uh, those are uh, yeah let me check the security group also because uh, whatever the load balancer we have to create so that would be generally we are using for the that application so make sure 8080 port number should be open or you can uh, open all the port or all the traffic or all the tcp so let us for your perfect for the demo so you can see i have already opened uh, this security group for the, all the traffic let me open that so you can see that yeah in the inbound role you can see all the traffic has been exposed so and 8080 also i have uh, explicitly i have added that but you can open the all the traffic so for the demo let me go to the load balancer so i have to show you one thing uh, so one thing uh, yeah in the listener you can see only one listener is listening but we have to attach with the different uh, load balancer group okay so let me go to the listener and we have to define the port 8080 and the action would be forward because we are whatever the request would be goes to the 8080 port then we have to attach the uh, load balancer group 2 then click on add then yeah view listener you can see both group has been added and <clears throat> it has been added successfully and the and the load balancer is active also so in this in this session you learn how to create the group and how to load uh, get the load balancer huh? thank you so much